There it is. Welcome everybody to another Georgia Archery Podcast. I'm your host, Big John Chandler, and this is where we talk about anything and everything to do with archery in the state of Georgia and Georgia archers wherever they may shoot. And my fearless sidekick right here, Robbie Surface. How are you doing, buddy? I am good, brother. How are you? Oh, I am doing awesome. I uh, had to put me some green lights in the back, too, because, you know. Oh, I, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Trying to be like you, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a whole lot of other people out there that I'd rather want to be like. <laughs> I hear you. So, uh, what's going on, brother? How's the week been? Dude, it's been good. Just working. Um, <laughs> just doing the whole work thing. Yeah, I feel you. Um, I didn't take a day off. Yeah, no, y'all, I think y'all had some some advancements or something or another going on over there that um, I saw. It, uh, it's pretty slick. It looks I, good. I'm not going to lie. Um, we remodeled the showroom. The mm -hmm. um, it, it the layout is oh, it's pretty nice. Yeah, uh, it but it but it was two days of hard work moving all the furniture and moving all the stuff and some, you know, sawing and screwing and, you know, Building, y'all were just building. Oh man, we were, we were, we were, we were definitely uh, Bob the Builder for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's that time of year. Um, let's see, I got a, a couple of, I got a Matthews order in. Good. Uh, some of them, their uh, bottom lands showed up today, so that's uh, long awaited for yeah. for, yeah. for more people. So, um, and then. Uh, we got everything about right where it needs to be. We're, you know, making sure prices are on stuff, this, that, and the other. But, and, uh, let's see. I didn't, like I said, I didn't do nothing. I, uh, it rained like, uh, anything under the sun. So you're it was telling me. <laughs> it, I know. You know your driveway show is sweet, ain't it? Uh, right. Yeah. Last night we had to leave Wifey's truck up at the, uh, at the shop and just ride home in mine. I had to take her to the shop this morning so she could go to work. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, yeah, um, it was nasty, nasty weather. Ooh, yes, it was. Um, but you know that was a good thing that we was inside, right? Cause, oh yeah, yeah, it could have been a whole lot worse. Uh huh. And there was a, uh, you know, a lot of folks that were uh, getting wet slinging arrows. I seen a few pictures from some of the local guys today. Oh my! It was nasty. God. I got some pictures. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, a Frero, uh, Gabriella's dad, uh, Alon, sent, uh, showed me some pictures, and I was like, he said, like, I didn't want to post these. He said, they, they, <laughs> I was like, did you get a boat? You know, they John, needed it. John boat would have floated across that thing, right? Yeah, yeah, they needed it. It was crazy, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, that's what the, you know, catching up, doing. Oh, did, uh, do you see the little, uh, tidbit that, um, Got posted today with uh, Scott Parrott and doing a he did a, a throwback a throwback archery. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. He looked a little younger. Yeah, and he was shooting a different kind of bow. Yeah, he was sure was. But um, yeah, so uh, like we talked about, there was this uh, little bitty tournament down there in um, Russell County, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And there was and a few. I was gonna say some Georgians showed up. Oh yeah, there was a few Georgians showed up. Uh, let's see, um, the second pro am of the year, Russell. I think it was the Darton Black Eagle. I think mm -hmm. it's what. I think you're right. All right, and uh, they had nasty, nasty weather. That they did. But I, you know, of course, I wish I could have gone. Wish I, I mean, I miss it to some degree, but I me, don't me miss. Either missing shooting and that stuff no um but we had you know uh everybody said it was nasty but they still you know there were several that did their thing there's no doubt about yeah, it i had a couple of them texting asking hey do you do i have boots there <laughs> available if you're coming can you bring me a size 12 yeah <laughs> for sure it was nasty but we did have some folks make the podium uh that live in georgia go ahead and, uh well, who, who made the first place podium Dude, I got to give it to old LJ, bro. Man, he has, Dude. Been, he has been working hard. Is that his first tournament with the Elite? 
Uh, he shot elite two years ago too. So well, it's, uh, for yeah. this year, for this year, yeah. Well, um, yeah. he shot the last tournament, um, the first one. Oh, so he did shoot the first one with the elite too. I think so. I think it came in just in time. Either way, he finally got some time behind the bow and goes down there and just flat throws down. Oh yeah, he did his thing for sure. Um, Congratulations, LJ. Well earned, my friend. Yeah, I had to turn some background music on. Oh no, cover, huh? I can hear it now. Yeah. I can't hear it now. <laughs> it's coming I, and going. Yeah. It's going, uh, it's one of them. It's restarting. Anyway, uh, LJ did his things and known 50, and that's his mm -hmm. first win. I mean, he, he podiumed several times, but that's his first win with the, with the elite. So that's a uh, congratulations there. For sure. Um, Johnny Garrett in his crossbow class, um, you know, finished first overall. That's a uh, good shooting. Jacob Robinson in the Olympic recurve. Oh yeah, comes away with a first place as well. That's right. And old Clint Smith in the senior known fifty. Senior known fifty. Yes, sir. He uh, finished third last time, and now he's uh, first place. So uh, great job on that. And uh, yeah. you recognize that name? I think I've heard of it before. Uh, that's a Frederick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think I've heard of it before. Yeah. Clayton, oh, Clayton Frederick. In the Youth Open Boys class. Man, did you see his scores? 30, 30, 30 and 32. Just nasty, dude. <laughs> 30 and 32. That's like unreal. He had an 8 on the last target. He'd been 32 both times. Oh, I was like, whoo, sawing. That is, he threw it down. I was like, you know, the rain didn't bother you, buddy. Not at all. Not in the least. <laughs> so, uh, second place, uh, well, if you watch the shoot downs, we all know that uh, Curtis Broadnax made oh, the big time. Oh, big time. And he went in there and did his thing. Um, and, uh, you know, I talked to him. He was he was not, you know, he, he everybody wants to win. There's no yeah. doubt about it. Yeah, sure. um, but I was just so proud of him um, shooting and uh, getting to see him there and doing his thing. So, Well, that's the second time. Uh, what his shoot second down? or third time in the shoot down? That's a third time shoot down, and uh, he's won one, and this is the second. Yep. So, congratulations, Curtis. Yep. And, and uh, uh, Mr. David Parson in the super senior known class with a second place finish. That's right. And Landon Waters in the young adult pins male for yeah, his second Landon. place. And we yeah. have a few it's third places too. That's right. Um. <laughs> You know, uh, Kaylee, I want to say Johnston, but it's Yeah, Pet me too. <laughs> it's Pettifer. Um, you know, she made the shoot down again. I mean, it's almost old hat for her. I hate to say that, but it's we. She's one of those, right? It's like if you had to put a bet, you was gonna, you're gonna say, "Hey, I'm." She's a always gonna be in my top five. Always, hundred yeah, percent. Always. So she made the cut and uh, finished third overall. So um, congratulations, congratulations She. There was a pretty big gap. Oh, yes, there from was. first to second in that class, was there not? Yeah, there was. It was. It was. A, it was not a little bitty jump there. So, she did her thing, and they fought back and forth and did it. And it, you can see that shoot down on uh, competition archery media. Right there on the tube. That's right. Let's see. Uh, uh, second place, or another? Excuse me, not second place, but another third place finish, Mr. Christian. Noling in the young adult pin female class. Yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Not Mrs. 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 Yeah. Kristen. Yeah. I, I think Kristen. Yeah, but Kristen Nolan. Uh, Nowling. Is that? Nowling. Yeah. Nowling. Anyway, congratulations on your third place finish, and then uh, uh, Con Conrad, Conrad Conrad Foster in the uh, youth pins uh, boys finished third overall. So that's a uh, awesome. Yep. So that's the top three. But bunch of top fives. My God, that's what I was gonna tell you. We was that's what I went through there and did top fives and top tens just to figure it out. And I was like, man, there's you just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen in the top fives. They were just out of the uh, off the podium, you know. Just off, and I'm sure in a lot of these classes it's one point, maybe one oh, twelve, two points. Yeah, I mean it could be a you know it could be a bonus ring uh, difference, that kind of thing. So. Um, we're just gonna run through this real fast. So uh, Brody Matt uh, Broadnax, we call him the um, you know um, he's the other midget. Uh, midget Mafia. Nope, he's the mighty midget. Mighty midget. Okay. Okay. Yep. 
Clinton is the midget mafia, and he's the uh, midget. Okay, okay. Um, we get both of those together. He was in the Eagles Open Boys. Uh, Michael Howell in the Men's Open 45. Uh, Rebecca Garrett, which is Johnny Garrett's uh, wife um, in her in the crossbow class. Um, Cameron Ford in the known, in known 40. Jonathan Taylor in Open 45. Uh, another Michael Howell in the Open, open 45. Wait a minute. You yeah. got that twice. Yep. All right. So uh, um, now, now I've got all confused. Norif, Norif B. Now, now in lean. Men's Pins 40. Uh, Steven Sapp in Senior Known. Oh, Steven. That's right. Uh, Jeff. Markram. Markram in Senior Known. Markram. Uh huh. Barry Moon and Senior Masters. I just want to be shooting, baby. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> um, Mark Woods in a Senior Men's. Oh, Buster Marshall in Super Senior Known. And uh, Luca Freeman in the um, Youth Pins Boys. And Kaylee Garrett in the Youth Pins Female. So that's top five. There's a whole bunch of folks. A whole bunch of folks. And then we ended up with, I mean, there were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you count that high? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, about 18, 19, 20 in the top 10. I mean, so you figure. Georgia is showing out. Yeah, Georgia is showing out. That's how it looks. That's exactly what I was, I, I had to print it because uh, my uh, second screen didn't want to work today. So I had to print it. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, congratulations to everybody who made the top ten, top five, uh, one, two, and three. Congratulations. And, look, congratulations to the ones that didn't quite make it at that spot because you made it through a weekend of a whole lot of nasty rain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's there's a top ten that I'm going I'm to pick out and mention. Oh, are you? Yeah, notable. I Got to give a big shout-out to Miss Tiffany Tanner, her first top ten in the, in the women's pro oh. class. That's right. Um, and uh, that's awesome. That's what I'm saying with Tiffany and Stacy. You know, they, they practice together a lot. Yeah. Uh, and I they, see Corey Wright's name there as well in the semi pro class. Uh huh. Um, Carly Stroud. I mean, just a lot of a lot of names that we know. Congratulations to each and every one of y'all. You know, Blake Garrett, uh, uh, Mal, uh, Moses Ming. You know, he came in and shot that year. Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. Uh, Bubba Freeman. You know, he had a rough day, but he did his thing. You know, stayed in the top. Uh, Sawyer, I mean, John Carter Head, I mean, Daniel Neal. I mean, there's a John, a Jonathan John, Caldwell. You know, if somebody asked me to do this, Jonathan shooting, I was like, yes, he mm -hmm. is. Uh, David Hasty, I mean, Walker Scarborough. That's right. Mark Keezy's in that hunt, you know. Mm, oh, Keezy. That's right. Samuel Smith, uh, Mean, um, Charlie Mans uh, Massengale. I mean that's a that's a whole bunch of folks in that list, man. Mm -hmm. Zach William H Kate, Zach Hill. Yeah, that's them semi pro guys. That's that's you know, that ain't no easy task. No. What it is. No. Congratulations to every one of you. I am not I am super proud of all of Georgia. We're we'll going to get the last few too, being that we we got about? all the other ones. Yeah. Uh, Ter Teresa Noling. Yep. Uh Sophia Amadeo. That's right. Chase Romy. Romy. Yep. And then Reese McIntyre, just just a lot of Georgians in the top ten. Yep. That that we didn't mention in the top five or top three. You that's, know, that's what I'm saying. These are all in the top ten. So that's where that's just crazy. Um, that I mean, you know, three thousand. I don't know how many. I forgot. I didn't hear the number. It was wet, so I don't know. Sometimes the numbers are a little lower on the wet days, but um. You know, people knowing this weather, they just don't show up. But I didn't hear what the number was. But, I mean, if you count this, we're looking at 30-plus Georgians that made top 10, you know, roughly. That's awesome. I mean, Georgia's got it going on. Way over 30. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's just a bunch of them. There's no doubt about it. But uh, that's that's freaking awesome. Uh Rocky Comfort bow hunters held a shoot, but I could not see any score, so I don't know what, what happened. I just uh, counted it. 50. 50. 50. 50 Georgians in the top 10. Top 10. That's awesome. In their respective classes. Yeah. Awesome. That is just, you know, that just shows what Georgia's all about, right? Yeah. I wonder if there's any other state out there that had 50 people in the top 10 in their respective classes. Out of all the other 49 states. If you want to go and I'm not. 
Okay. I was going to say, you know, I try to do my homework and cover up, uh, you know, get Georgians and uh, get folks and do that. I'm just going to be straight with you. I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so uh, what you got planned for the weekend? I'm leaving Friday about 3 o'clock, headed south to old Port St. Joe area. Going to do some fishing. Going to do some freshwater fishing on Saturday. Okay. And, um, and then Sunday and Monday, we're going to be in the big pond doing some fishing. In the big pond. In the big pond. I hope the weather's good for you, buddy. Dude, I hope so, too, because I don't I, – I, very, 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 very – not often the opposite of often um uh, do i get to do something like that so i'm i'm looking forward to it that's awesome i, I gotta finish my tack set up though um i gotta make some time to do it <laughs> well i am uh officially registered for tack on sunday oh sweet what range and what time uh 11 30 and the leopold range so i'll be we're shooting the leopold range at 10 o'clock on saturday, uh, sunday yep so that's where we'll be um, Who you got going? Um, oh, there's a lot of go by guys going, but uh, Mark is actually me and Mark are actually on on tea times together. So me oh, and sweet together. So, um, but a maybe lot maybe y'all can be there standing around ten o'clock. Maybe we can all go together. Well, that's what that's what I, my 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 hope was, you know, because once you get in in the range after one o'clock, you can go wherever you want to. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the way it reads, mm -hmm. um, you know, but it closes on Sunday, so you you know, but the right. reason. That's one of the reasons we picked that course being as late on Sunday as it was is because that way we knew we could get through it, you know? Yeah. 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 And like Alicia's going. Yep. Uh, Josh Varnado and his wife Katie's going. Um, their daughter Avery and son Grayson is going. Yeah. And then another guy, Nick Edwards, is going with us. And, you know, every one of those, all of us, Everyone outside of myself has shot some form of official 3D type of event. They uh -huh. have it. So, you know, yeah, of course, I'd have loved to have shot a, one of the tougher ranges. Um, <laughs> but I wasn't going to suggest shooting one of those ranges uh, with a bunch of folks that have never done anything like that, so, you know. Not um, even an R100, much less a so Chris, event. So Chris and Gabe are going Friday, Saturday. And I think they got the Prime course first and the Hoyt course second and then the uh, Ultra View course next. Well, they're going to be worn out. Oh, yeah. They got them all. They, they, they're they planning the whole day. Hunter's got uh, – Moody's going. He's He's got all three days. Um, uh, um, let's see. Who else is on there? Um, there was a – it's just – I keep adding everybody was do, going and, and shooting, so – we were all sitting in there, and then uh, James comes in. He's a part-time help. And I was like, "Hey, did you register?" And he's like, "What?" Because he'd already asked off. He's like, "I don't want to, you know, I don't want to work the weekend because I want to go to Tech." I was like, "Have you registered?" Oh my gosh! He went in there, and it was like his his number was three million seven hundred sixty-five. <laughs> I was like, "Dude, <laughs> you ain't gonna have much left when you get in." And yeah. but hey, well, it, it was crazy how fast that thing was filling up. Well, so what, when you posted yours about I hit it and it was 200 and something, well, I, my email came because I hit it early, right? I hit it when it, it it sent me an email. I had registered three days ahead of time to send me an email. So yeah, it, me too. Yeah, and it sent that email. I clicked it immediately, went to it, and I was 116. And then you posted 217 or 220. Yeah, something. so I had everything filled, the blanks filled, yep. name, email address, phone number, and all that. And the submit button was grayed out. Grayed out. That's and right. He was, I was sitting there watching the timer, and as soon as it went to color, that's right. It allowed me to click it. I clicked it. Yep. Like that quick. Yep. And I was two seventeen or whatever number I was. That yeah. was so wild. I'm... So I did my little deal. Backed out. Yep. Typed in Alicia's, which I didn't even have to type it. I already had everything typed out. All I had to do was Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. Yeah. And I did it again. And hers was like 579 or something. I did, I did mine at 168 or whatever it was, 160 something. And then um, I made, I hollered at Mark. I said, hey, you got to get in. So he got in at 643. That was his number. And I, I was like, okay. Uh, but that was that course didn't fill up as fast anyway. You know, everybody wants to play the big boy course, and that's fine. Yeah, and Sunday's a smaller day, I'm sure, for, for most yeah. of them. So, um, and so then when James goes in, and he was he wanted to do – um, 
he wanted to do uh, the uh, um, you know multiple day, multiple days. He's like, man, there ain't many courses left open. I said that's because you waited till one thirty in the afternoon to try to register. Mm-hmm. I was like, I told you, I'm surprised it had any openings. So yeah, you yeah, know. And I think Blake was going to go and and wound up not get, being able to get registered in time. So yeah, I don't think he's going. That's, I mean. But, you know, I'm, it's going to be a fun event. Um, and then there's a lot of folks planning on going to the, um, you know, uh, other, pre- we call, I call it a warm-up. I mean, tax just bigger than them. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. But uh, there are a lot of folks going to Mountain Archery Fest, but it's just Friday, Saturday. There's no yeah. Sunday time in there. So that sort of messes me up, you know. Yep, me too. But um, I've been trying to get in touch with uh, – um, you know the ceo and like trying to you know we've actually been emailing back and forth trying to get him he's he wants to come on but his time and our time has just not worked out and so i may just uh b- build a little something you know me and him together or whatever if we can get it in the middle of the day and uh you know push it out you know separate just to have that that information but we done talked enough about all of that and tax just we you see us excited, right? Yeah, I'm excited dude. And before we move on, the last little bit from about tax. Yep. Nick Edwards and I would um, have come together with raising arrows instead of Yep. You know, I had Chasing It Outdoors and, and he had started raising arrows right. um, raising arrows hunts, which is a um, tied in with a non profit profit, yep. Um, with, which is what his mom does is from you know, I, I don't know all the details, but they got a, a nonprofit program where they get meat donated, uh, like deer meat donated. Uh, I got you. And it's, it's to feed hungry kids, essentially. Yeah. Uh-huh. You, know, you know, Nick had asked me several times about, you know, coming on with him at, at Raising Arrows. And his editing skills are far better than mine. He's got, you know, we got the same equipment. So okay. now we've doubled our, our, our equipment and got a better editor, and he's a great dude. Uh, so I'm fortunate to, to be a part of Raising Arrows with him. And we're going to make a Raising Arrows tack video for YouTube I on got that it. Sunday on, on our range. So I'm looking forward to that. That's awesome. That is freaking cool. Yeah, I, we got a bunch of shirts being made that everybody in our group's going to be wearing the Raising Arrows shirt. So, yeah, we're, we're really stoked about that. Is, that's the cool part about, uh-oh, I got I to gotta fix something right quick. You uh-oh. know what you're getting close to the screen, man. Yeah, I know. I uh, got close to the to the. Hold on, one second. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, it keeps coming and going. That background music you got going on. No, it's it's on repeat. Uh, so it only plays for like two minutes, and then it repeats itself. It's just something to play. Um, well, who's shooting this weekend? I guess probably where we should get into. We should get into. Well, Saturday, um, Outback Archery and Range and Thompson is shooting. Oh, Olin Price. That's right. Olin, I, I messaged him. I said, hey, you're still on, right? He said, yep. And then uh, the first 3D of the year for S3DA, your first regional and uh at dewey rose at disciple archery so those are the two events that are that that's on the schedule you know that i have and then of course easter is is sunday so most folks don't shoot on easter you know so that would not be the best date to choose i would not uh, uh, um, i know a lot of folks who shot on saturday matter of fact i remember going to hillsman's and shooting a hillsman shoot on saturday before easter and he put easter eggs dangling from the dern all the way down the lanes and in front of the targets (laughs) it it was you know just little you know different different plastic eggs you know Mm -hmm. and then it gets to the last one and he had one out there long range and he said if you hit the egg you win or something you know get get 14 points or something like that i miss those days and those guys man it was a good day man we had a good time there's no doubt about it but yeah so that's what's going on um you you got any kids coming up to shoot 3d yet you got them taught taught and how to do it none of our kids are coming to that one but they will be at the next one um you know all of our kids are still really green still got a lot to learn they're practicing um, working on trying to finalize sight tapes and oh yeah and making sure that they understand to set the site, make sure they set the site, and double check that they set the site. That's right. And um, it's and it's in the right number. And it's the right number. 
you know, where to aim, when to be aggressive, when not to be aggressive. So, uh, how, how, what are you using to make sight tapes, Rob? Uh, Archer's Advantage, but I've got some of those colored tapes too that I ordered from Lancaster. Oh man, that during uh, that's what I was going to tell you. Some of the that colored tape is pretty cool. Uh, Gun Star, I Gun think. Stars, yeah. So um, that and I'll tell you, I talked to Danny. Um, and uh, he uses that tape, and uh, um, he said that uh, instead of going 32, he says green two. Because there's a way to know what number to go to. Okay, Absolutely. so he's, he's just automatically, if it's in the 20s, then it's white. If it's in the 30s, it's green. If it's in the 40s, it's orange, I think. That's a good way to do it. So he learned that if it's in a 40, he doesn't say 43. Because how many times have we mess at our sight by 10 yards? Oh, more times than I care to admit to. So now he just goes yellow three. Mm -hmm. or 12. So when he looks at his sight tape, his eyes go straight to the color first, and then he just sets it to the one, two, three, or there five. There you go. And don't get me wrong, I love old, old, old Danny B to death. That's, that's my boy. Yeah. May not talk as much as we used to, but that's still my dog. Yep. Yeah. That boy will miss set a sight in a heartbeat. Yep, but that's what he said. This was the best thing he'd ever did was to, to set himself. For there was far too many times that he oh. should have oh, yeah. finished much, much higher than he did, but one target cost him. But I tell you, that's the funny thing about it. It's like the, what he said made a lot of sense. Oh, it does. And when these new kids, I mean, it's a perfect way. They don't know no different, right? You could teach them that. And oh my goodness! Yeah, that's a valid point. That's so, a valid point. A little little tidbit of information right there. So, coming from the old Jedi himself, <laughs> that's your midget. That's your mini midget there now. <laughs> uh, he shot. He shot this past weekend in in the rain. He sure. Uh, did. He 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 went back out. He's he's come out of retirement again. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's what that is. How's your 4-H practice going? I was uh, helped. I helped at 4-H practice tonight. They needed some help because uh, it's outdoor season, and that means a whole lot of sight changing. So. Oh yeah, yeah. We we needed to practice outside yesterday, but we didn't because of the rain. But we did last week. Yeah. Um, I didn't get to make it because we don't practice at, at the, the same place, and it's about a 20-minute drive. And by the time I got out of there and would have driven the 15, 20 minutes over. Been halfway through or more. Yeah, or more. Oh, yeah. Um, so I didn't get to make it, but the other coaches did, and they said it went really well. The kids shot really good last night in the range. Mm -hmm. um, several of them are coming to shoot league tomorrow. So, I mean, they're, they're, making, they're making some progress. I mean, it's tough to compare our kids to – Oh, you know, a lot of the others because you don't need to. It's, well, it was it's just so much smaller here, and it's still so fresh to some degree. You just got to um, compare to their last numbers. That's all you yeah, can. And that's and that's what we're working on, and that's what I continuously tell them. You know, you're you're, you're competing against yourself in your last score. One hundred percent. Focus on the execution and the shot, and the numbers will come. That's um, fact. And, and we're growing. I mean, it's been really really fun to to watch and to see. As a matter of fact, the the local newspaper coming today, they want to do an article for the for the store on in two different aspects. To, I got we've, it. Got a, we've got a critter tournament going on, which I'm going to kind of stay away from because uh -huh. some are in favor of and some are not. I don't want to get into all that. But the other, I saw the discussions. He um, he wants to do an article on it, and so he's going to do that with the guys that are that are putting that that critter tournament on. Yep. Um, and then he's going to do an article on the archery side and the range, and uh, yeah, we're going to do that yes, next Tuesday at two o'clock, I believe. That's cool. Yeah. So, and then I, you know, plan to make sure that I mentioned about the SDA and the 4-H programs, and oh, yeah. you know, the growth in youth archery in our area mm -hmm. um, has grown tremendously uh, over the last three years. I mean, yep. you know, now Mr. Todd and, and his wife have since retired, so there's not a Terrell County program. That's right. Which was a, a big program and a good program grew, in the area. Yeah, they grew it from nothing. They grew it from nothing. Now, they have since retired. Yep. Um, and some of those kids have moved their way over. Some went maybe to other counties, I guess, potentially. But, you know, it'll just continue to grow. I mean, we started out with, I think, seven kids, and we're at 17 in our third year. 
That's very all. similar to Walton County's program when we started it, what, six years ago, seven years ago, whatever it was now. Yep. That's crazy how, how, how time flies, doesn't it, buddy? Whew, you're telling me. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I think everybody's going to, you know, have a good time. I think that uh, the kids are doing their thing. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to go outside and shoot some 3D. I'm not. Oh, gonna, yeah. Yeah, I'm. You know, I've been I've been shooting mine a little bit, playing with these kids, and yep. you know, maybe secretly practicing here at the house a little bit. Not so much this last week. One rain, two. We had a lot going on, but I got to pull the other bow back out. I may be flinging some airs, and I got I pull- got some airs built for tack. Awesome. Um, I, well, I know what air I'm going to shoot for tack, but um, I may go. I need me to might have to build some more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I've got I got some build. I'm going to shoot a couple of different airs, play with some different setups. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, I got to build a sight tape. So I got two airs that are pretty close in weight, and then I got one that's a, you know a little lighter. And my side, I can't run multiple tapes. Um, oh, both sides. That's right. Yeah, I can't run. Well, I'm running the spot hog, and there's not an option to run oh. both sides. Uh, so I'll, I mean, I'll spend some time to get it figured out, find out where that lighter air is going to hit at this young, this number versus that number. But mm-hmm. our range is what sixty yard max. I'm not, I'm not concerned. I mean, oh. I'm not gonna make that happen. Yeah, I just got to get my hunting bow back out and dust it off, get it, get, and get some practice behind it. But at this point in time, my 3D bow is seventy pounds also, so it's not going to be as. Yeah, know, yeah. As, Mine's set yeah. on sixty seven, and my hunting bow's on seventy one. So. It's not going to be a big change, so that you know the execution hopefully will still be that's right. fairly decent. Um, that's one thing I have worked on when I have shot was, you know, trying to make sure that I'm firing good shots. They land wherever they land, but to make sure that the execution you make a good shot. That's right. Is as good as I can make it with the amount, the limited amount of time that I've shot. So that's what archers are supposed to do. So that's kind of been my focus. I got me a three, a new 3D target here at the house, and that's good. You know, I've shot probably. 50 airs in it, and I hit the 12 a time or two. So, <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Well, I look like we covered everything. I hope everybody has a happy Easter and a good weekend. Uh, looks like the weather's going to be nice. Um, so um, I uh, wish everybody the best this weekend. Um, if you want to send us a message or contact us, you can uh, email me at georgearchery at gmail.com. You can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Oh. Twitter, Twitter, X, Twitter, whatever it is. Oh. I think you got the Snapchats going again. Or uh-huh. You got TikTok going. TikTok's going. That's right. So you can find us most anywhere. Um, this podcast goes live on every, I mean, there. Uh, I, I found it in places I just didn't know it was there. It's almost on every uh, podcast app. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have, if it ain't on there, send me a message so we can get it to get there, so you can get to your favorite podcast app. I know it's on all the major ones. So, yep. Um, yeah, and if you do want to know more about us, you can find us www.georgearchery.com, and there is a place with a calendar that all this information that we talk about is on that calendar. And so, if you don't see your dates on that calendar, or you want your dates on that calendar, send us a message, and we can get it up updated. Mm-hmm. Make so, it happen, Captain. That's right. Um, always a pleasure, Robbie. Yes, sir. And uh, yes, sir. I guess until next time, I'm Big John. And I'm Robbie. We'll see you. Oh, my goodness.